Hi everybody, welcome back. This week is National Infertility Awareness Week and we are gonna spend this time sharing some of your incredible stories from egg freezing parties to new studies regarding men and marijuana to new laws that just passed in Washington that could impact you, your children, or even your future children. So did you know, according to the National Institutes of Health, one in six couples experience infertility. Now in the last five years or so, I've seen that number go from one in 10 for couples to one in eight, and now one in six. So if you're figuring this out, the numbers are not trending in our favor. And a lot of you probably wanna know, why is this happening? Well, some research suggests that chemicals and toxins all around us might be playing a role. PCBs, GMOs, BPA. I mean, we can go through the whole alphabet if you want to. From what we eat to where we work and what we breathe, those could all be factors, some say. A recent Newsweek cover story showed that sperm counts are at an all-time low, plummeting at alarming rates as we see it. Infertility is now considered a disease. Did you hear that? It's a disease. The World Health Organization defines infertility as a reproductive system failure, and one that is shared equally between women and men, equally. And that's just the physical part. Alice Domar, the director of Integrative Care in Boston, says the psych psychological impact of infertility is extremely profound. In fact, her studies show that after a couple of years, women with infertility issues have the same level of anxiety and depression as those with cancer, HIV, and heart disease. And when I read that, I thought my heart was going to burst because that is how I had been feeling. You see, my husband, Jim, and I have tried to have a baby for nearly as long as we've been married which is nine years. We have taken all the tests, all the shots, and all the pills for our unexplained infertility. Um, by the way, we considered adoption. I'm an adoptee, I'm very pro-adoption. I spent a lot of my time um, volunteering, but that is not a story for today. And frankly, everyone should have the right to choose how they wanna build their family. And I believe they should also be supported because infertility is a disease, it's not a choice. It impacts millions of people. It impacts 150,000 people right here in Washington, yet it is still not covered by insurance here, unless, that is, you're a veteran who had combat injuries, and even that's about to run out. Uh, 15 other states we know, like Massachusetts, Illinois, and Hawaii, have all mandated that insurance covers infertility, which, again, is a disease. So the question I ask, why isn't Washington why is Washington behind? This week, we're gonna be talking about how far Washington has come and also where it needs to go. And this week also happens to be the week that my husband and I are closing a chapter on our infertility journey. And that is because this week we are finally able to announce that we are having a baby. <laughs> Yay, that's so great. So our last round of IVF worked. We're so very grateful. Wow to Dr. Lynn and the staff at Seattle Reproductive. Um, but despite our happiness, we have a lot of anxiety, like extra anxiety. And we also feel bittersweet for the people who are struggling out there. So, you know, we hear you, we see you, we support you, and we also hope that one day Washington will too. So I do leave you with some calls to action. Uh, if you wanna do something for yourself, your friends, or maybe even for your own namesake, then I encourage you to ask lawmakers to support Americans who struggle to build their families. Ask lawmakers to make the bill permanent, which provides IVF and adoption coverage for our war veterans with service-related infertility. In the meantime, you can help by just being supportive, and sometimes, honestly, that means not offering advice. Uh, people with infertility, trust me, they've heard it all before. Don't stress, just relax, just adopt. Those are great sentiments, but those things really don't help. Try listening, maybe offer to go to their appointments, or learn about infertility because this disease is more common than you think, and if we keep trending the way we have, it might impact you or someone you know. Likely, it probably has impacted some of us, so. Mm. Sorry, Jordan, I didn't tell you. I wanted to tell you last week. <laughs> I feel so great, so can I give you a yeah. hug? Thank you. That's yeah. so great. Cause I, there we were like in the closet, or not in the closet, we were in the um, the makeup room or whatever, and she's like, yeah, I just had this long conversation upstairs with Cheryl, our boss. And I was like, well, what's it about? She goes, no, nothing, don't worry about it, I'll tell you later. I'm like, 
well, I want to know now. <laughs> and then and then the next day I'm like, will you tell me now? <laughs> like later. I'm like, oh, what is it? This yeah. is amazing. Yeah. We're, they, you know, I know, I think all of us would agree, we're so humbled um, that you would share your life yeah. with us yeah. and that you would use your story to try to make a difference in our state. Um, we're so happy for you. And so we brought a little something, <laughs> something know. just to commemorate, like, you Adorable. know. So open. I love you. You, guys. you know what? This is yeah. so exciting. What I love about this is we've known behind the scenes, you know, your story and your struggles. And, it, you know, it's a delicate topic. You don't want to yeah. talk about it. I sometimes almost feel guilty talking about my girls. And when I knew that you were going to announce this today, I got so happy for you. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the best so awesome. news in the world. <laughs> Your life's about to change. As a great friend of mine in this industry told me uh, many moons ago when I was expecting my first daughter, he says, you know what, Chris? Your fear is that life sometimes might be less fun. You're not going to get to tailgate and run out with your friends and do all that silliness. Mm -hmm. He said, but your life will always be filled with more joy. And I can think of countless moments in my life where nothing was going on at all. And it was just me and my girl sitting there. And that moment hit me. And I thought, this would have been a forgettable moment in my life that is now relevant and important and special. And everything that's going to matter to you in your life is <laughs> on its way. We're so thrilled for you. We oh, got yeah. you some goodies there. When I found out, I couldn't help but go get crafty with my little girls because uh -huh. they were so excited. Oh so we God. ran out last night. Oh, we wanted to get you your first Take 5 that's onesie. Adorable. We customized the back, Mini Lee. I thought this would be too perfect. And because I speak on behalf of the many proud daddies who are super excited about a baby on the way, your husband is going to uh, have some work to do. So I got him the official baby manual. This is the owner's manual. <laughs> this is going to look just like the one in your car. It's got all the stuff inside. All It's broken down into the very same talk, tactics like programming sleep mode. <laughs> all of the things he's going to need to know are right here so he can read that oh alongside That's great. you reading what to expect when you're expecting. So we have everybody and their mom texting in right now. Congratulations. <laughs> we, I don't know if we could pull some up, Steph, if mm -hmm. we we're going to be reading some of that, but um, there's there's a few that, okay, Look at all the people crying, saying oh, I'm crying in my <laughs> office for you. Uh, you're so wonderful. Congratulations on your miracle, little one. Thank you for shedding light to the issue. Congratulations. Uh, even my wife was texting me saying, she is so brave for doing that, so. Oh my gosh, I'm not. Thank you guys so much. You have become. We spent nine years. So close. Like, I've become so close to you guys. I just really appreciate you letting me, like su supporting me and helping me. I really appreciate it. See, I recognize it. those. Those are my daughters call happy tears. Those, yeah. are happy, those are happy tears. And I know there's a yeah. lot of people watching who are sharing your struggle. They're happy for you. And some people mm -hmm. that are going to see this as inspiration. So thanks for spelling it out. For us. This is so exciting. <laughs> this is the I know what it is about. I'm like so excited. And for I know you. just when you're like thinking you dried your last year, there's actually more. Mm. Um, is Stephanie, is this when we go to you, Stephanie, our producer? Uh, no, that's another surprise that's coming up later because <laughs> oh, we oh, ran oh, out I of time. But Great. we've got a lot but of comments coming in on our Facebook Live right now. Um, <sighs> people are saying that Take Five Onesie is everything. <laughs> They're so happy for you as well, Michelle. And I have another message coming up later. Oh, yeah. gosh. And oh, I know my Chris God. would never like say this, but he really did like. Like do it like he. I don't. I'm not crafty. I'm like Chris. Are you crafty? Off. Oh yeah, he totally. We were texting yeah. behind the scenes. They're like, how do we make a custom one? It's like, <laughs> believe it or not, I'm Mr. Crafty. I make all our costumes. <laughs> I'm on it. We're on it. Me and my girls. They were excited to help me with it, so we went home and, and we did that. Cool. Oh um, and I gotta also say, to be honest, uh, as a, a son who has an amazing mother, like your kiddo's pretty darn lucky because yeah. it's one thing to have a great mom, but to have a mom that's like fierce <laughs> and gonna know. you're gonna make a difference in the world and uh jackpot you're making doesn't me sweat. even know it yet yeah. so okay. all right we'll give you a breather we'll give you a yeah. breather thank and we'll you. have more later oh my god yeah. thank you thank you <laughs>